I'm back with another video and this video is going to be about how I do my eyebrows. So I'm starting off with a spoolie and I'm just brushing my hairs up so they're out the way and I can kind of clean up with a razor the hairs that are under my brow or whatever. And then I'm going to do the same to the top. I'm going to brush those hairs down and get rid of the unwanted hair at the top. And this part you have to be careful with because there was a time that my razor kind of lost grip on my face and it kind of shaved off the front part of my eyebrow. So yeah, be careful with that. Now I'm taking a clear eyebrow gel. This is from e.l.f. And I'm going to use that to kind of sculpt out my eyebrows and get them to lay how I want them to. And I feel like when I use this before actually putting on my dip brow, it just helps the dip brow stick better and later it makes it smudge proof. So now I'm taking a dip brow in, I think it's dark brown, and I'm gonna use that to line under my brows and get the shape that I want. And when I do this, I don't start at the very beginning because I don't want my eyebrows to look boxy or too harsh. So I start about a quarter way in and yeah. And then I won't dip my my brush back into anymore. I'll just use the leftover product that's on the brush for the beginning of my brows just so it's like a lighter effect. Then I'm just brushing that out so it's not like a a line, straight line under my eyebrow. Now I'm doing the same to the top. And I try to be really neat when I do this, and sometimes I'm not neat, which is fine because later you're gonna use concealer and you can just sculpt it out with concealer. You want to make sure that you're brushing your brows as, as you go just so everything's blended and nothing's clumping up or just so it's like evenly distributed. Now I'm going in and I'm just doing light strokes to give like a hair like effect in the beginning so it's not um, too dark so it has like a gradient to it. When I do my brows, like, I, I gotta make sure they're perfect, so it kind of takes me a while. Alright, but now I'm finally done, and I'm just gonna use that clear gel again to set it. And when you do this, you use it in the beginning and you use it in the after. It just makes it stay so much more uh, neat. Now I'm using my concealer from Tarte, the Shape Tape, in Deep. And I'm also going to mix that with their concealer in Tan Sand. I didn't, they didn't have like an in-between color, so, you know, I'm going to mix them so I can make my perfect color or whatever. So I'm just going to use that to go under my brow. I don't like to use too much concealer, especially if I'm not going to be doing my eyes. Because I don't really like my eyes to look so washed out. And if no shadow is going to go on it. It just adds to a more natural beat.
So I don't usually clean the top of my brow, but I do like the tip of it to be a little sharp. So I do do it on the ends. Now I'm taking a Real Techniques brush and I'm just using that to blend out all that concealer. Now I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Palette, and uh, I don't I don't remember that that shade, so I'm just gonna take the gold one, and I'm gonna put that under my brow. I always like to highlight under my brow because it gives it that really crisp, clean, and glowy look, and I I just like that. Now I'm going to do my other brow and my other brow is done. <laughs> so I hope you guys um, like this video. I hope I, it was helpful because I'm really terrible at explaining things. But yeah, as you can see, there's no residue. It's The brows stay if you use that clear gel before and after. So yeah, stay tuned for my next video.